We are the Rose Holman Rover Robotics Team, comprised of undergraduate students with engineering backgrounds. This year, the team focused on furthering developments with our new rover system, along with refining our subsystems from the previous rover. To complete this, we have maintained a sub-team structure, including electrical, mechanical, software, and science sub-teams that allow us to approach the various challenges to rover development as we improve our capabilities for each of the URC missions. The rover is mainly controlled by an NVIDIA Jetson Nano Development Board with complementary control modules for distinct parts of the electric system. The ARM is primarily its own system, being controlled by a Teensy 4.1 microcontroller, which controls an off-the-shelf motor controller. Additionally, there is a reintroduced science control unit, which is newly put onto the rover. The base station and rover both use M2 titanium bullet transceivers. A high-gain 2.4 GHz airlock dish antenna is used for the base station to communicate with the rover. The rover uses an omnidirectional dipole antenna. The only new component to the communication system is a passive PoE injector, which provides power and data to the transceivers. The battery system consists of four 3.2 volt lithium ion phosphate cells in series with a 72 amp power output. The software architecture for this year's rover leverages progress from previous developments, especially for autonomous navigation. We incorporated ROS with modularized subsystems for simultaneous localization and mapping, global positioning, and navigation and planning. We use an IMU depth camera and tracking camera to achieve effective mapping and obstacle detection with an appearance-based mapping algorithm. Additionally, we extend the visual internal audiometry algorithm to estimate the rover's real-time position and trajectory. We continue to test the rover's autonomous navigation capabilities in outdoor environments, along with improving the onboard and base station processing of data for more efficient completion of the mission. This year, the main focus for target tracking has been to improve our detection of tags via image classification. We continue to use OpenCV with the new addition of PyTorch to detect tags and then calculate the position of the tag relative to the rover. The relative position is then converted into latitude and longitude coordinates using data from our localization stack. Finally, these coordinates are sent to the autonomous navigation system as a waypoint objective. All movement control is then handled by the autonomous navigation system. This year, the mechanical sub-team is focused primarily on the weight reduction and streamlining of the rover. We are taking all the components from the old chassis and putting it onto a newly fabricated chassis and rocker bogey system. This new frame significantly reduced the overall volume and weight of the rover, while still maintaining the required space for all the subsystems. Additionally, it provides the same integrity afforded by the previous chassis. Our 3D printed wheels are composed of discs made of PETG and rings made of GPU. This ensures that the wheels will have enough rigidity to maintain its shape while under pressure, while still being pliable enough to accommodate varying terrain. These 3D printed wheels are a vast improvement over our previous wheels, which were unable to provide the capabilities we desired on sand. A majority of the work needed for a minimally working arm was done last year, leaving our efforts currently focused on functional testing and improvement of dexterity. We now have a six degree of freedom robotic arm with an interchangeable end effector. 3D printed parts are constrained to structurally integral areas and we plan to have improved visual capabilities by mounting cameras, not only on the arm, but offset from the arm to improve depth perception. The science mission this year is POAP effort to building a mechanism to bring soil to the rover. The science package will be attached to the front of the rover in place of the arm for completing the science missions. We have developed an auger screw to extract soil with the support of an elevator mechanism, allowing easy access to the ground, as well as the ability to come to level with the rest of the science package. The collected sample will then be transported into a test tube to a table via a slide system inside the main science package, where the sample will be analyzed. To detect the presence of life, we'll be using a UV VIS spectroscopy to detect the presence of the amino acids, tryptophan and calcine which have an absorption maximum of around 280 nanometers. In addition, the science package will also be equipped with multiple sensors and cameras to detect habitality and the surroundings.